Christ Palace International Ministries. Do you know that when you get up in the morning, nobody asks you, how are you thinking? They say, how are... Oh, talk to me. How are... How, why? How come they don't ask you, what are you willing today? What are you willing? What are you thinking? Nobody asks you that. They say, how are you feeling? How are you means how you are feeling? True or false? Oh, talk to me. Because they can even tell me what you are thinking. I can be comfortable. You can tell me what you are willing. I can be comfortable. But if I know how you are feeling, I will know what to do. If you tell me, I feel like killing, I will be a wise man to live. <laughs> if you tell me, today I'm not feeling good, you know how to, re to, to relate to the person that day at work. True or false? If you want to work and the person says, today I'm not in the mood. You know what to demand and what not to demand. Correct? If the person says, today I'm happy, you know what to expect. It means the emotion is the authorizer of the thought. Now, the moment this feedback comes from the mind, then the emotion will partner with the thought. The moment these people partner, the will has no other option. It has to do what it has to do. Now, huh? when the emotion is joy and the thought is evil, there's a struggle here, and then we will just wait for them to conclude what happens behind. So, this a thought comes into this is one person, don't forget this one person, no? it's inside you. A thought comes that. 23rd anniversary is coming, wedding anniversary. Your husband will have to buy you a Toyota. To, to, the, the thought came. <laughs> then, your husband did not prepare for the Toyota. But for the past 23 years, he's been treating you amazing. He, he bought you different things. But the 23rd anniversary day came. And your husband made the mistake of his life. He did not tell you. He did not buy you the Toyota. Now, whether they will be fighting in the house that day or not depends on the emotion. The emotion will partner based on the lady who think, I deserve a Toyota on 2010. It doesn't matter all that you have done for me. Since you didn't give me the Toyota, I am angry. Ha! They are partner. So the husband sees the wife. How did the face come about? The thought and the emotion partner. But another person, the same person, 23rd anniversary, no Toyota. But this guy, this, the thought said that, although we didn't get Toyota, but the man has been kind to us. He's been good. Maybe the finances are not good, so let me understand. Then a thought of happiness and joy. Partners! Then they come out laughing. The laughter or the frowning is based on what the emotions partnered with. Now, somebody to Sunday morning going to church is good. A thought. But would the, would the person go to church or not? What the emotion will say is the final one. The emotion will say, it's so cold. So cold. We can do online. Ah, I feel, I feel it. It's intentional. I'm working on my sermon. I'm, I caught you. I prepared for you. It's so cold. I think, uh, let me put the cover on me. God, there's no distance in the spirit. God can visit me on the bed. And you know, are you clapping for yourself or clapping for me? The moment emotion partner with their thought. Ah! Mm. So let's watch. Just to trick your mind that we went to church, you'll be start singing. Rejoice, rejoice. But the truth is, you wake up from the sermon. By the time you realize you are waking up after the service and it's on replay number two. So this emotion determines the final outcome of your life. If you can decide that I'm going to control my emotions, you control your life. Every war, every problem in the world came from emotion. James 4 verse 1. From whence, the question is, from whence come wars and fightings among you? From the devil? No. From heaven? No. Come they not hence, even of your last, that war in your members. So whatever come out, it came from your emotion, your feeling. If I can control this, my feeling, ah, then I can determine how I will live. But 
there's a problem. I told you, the emotion result out of the evaluations and the resonance of the mind. Is that correct? What if your intelligence in that realm is low? I will explain to you. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. And I understood as a child. I taught as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. It means the conclusion I come to is based on how I reason. Have you asked your child or somebody? I don't know how you think. Hello? Or oh, somebody asked you that. I, I don't know how you think. It means that in your mind, if the information or the intelligence you used to think is substandard, your emotion will be wrong. I repeat. A doctor has a way the doctor thinks. And based on the information which comes to the doctor, he will act in a certain way. But an ordinary person who is not a doctor will not think the same way because a doctor can see a person bleeding. And the doctor will hey, this is emergency. But the other person will look at him and say, doctor, can you give me some pain medication? The doctor has a strong emotion. The other person has weak emotion. And it's based on how they thought. So at the time of making your decision, if your intelligence in that matter was low, the emotion behind it will be wrong and the results will be bad. Some people have got scammed before. I don't know whether you are part. But there's a way people get scammed. If you give me 100,000, I will give you $1 million. Okay? At the time, if you knew that the guy was not correct, you wouldn't do it. But based on the information you had, you did your best. Then the emotion supported that. Wow, money is good. Wow. Whew. So the emotion supported that decision. It was not your fault. Because at that level, that was how you could process the information. But if you had more information, you will not do that. Is somebody with me? Now there's another big problem. There's what is called the default settings. No default setting. Some people, how they think. It's called habit. How they think. You know your mind is like your digestive system. You know when you put chicken in your mouth, there's a part you control, there's a part you don't control. From your mouth to it enters your blood or it goes into the drought. There's a part you, you are in charge. There's a part you are not in charge. Do you agree with me? When you put chicken in your mouth, who chews the chicken for you? Yourself. But the moment it enters your throat down, who controls the digestion? The system. So there's a part of your mind which is going, you are part. You are thing. And there's a part which is a default setting. Whatever you give it, it will give it out to you. So some people... The default system have been programmed that if you hear a name like Agabus, they are bad boys. Every Agabus is a bad because they had an experience with an Agabus that Agabus is a bad boy. So they are walking through town and they hear Agabus. The moment they heard Agabus, they, <laughs> some say they start sweating. But before they go to the sweating, their mind said that Agabus are killers. This Agabus came to kill us. Emotion said that, yes, we have to do something. Then the sweat will start coming. Why? The default setting says that Agabus are bad. Ricky Z, killer people. Killer. So, the lady might be an angel, but because the name is Ricky Z, the default says that Ricky Z people are bad. They are bad. They are bad. Mm. So, emotions support, emotions support thought. Mm. Ricky Z people are bad. So, Ricky Z is greeting the guy that morning. Ah, go away. He does not know why there has been a default setting which rejects Ricky Z people. Time your subconscious can be programmed to reject money. So, some people you are giving them money, you can even give them one million dollars, the money will leave their hand. There's a default setting which says, We don't like money, we don't like money. All their lives, their mom told them, You are useless, 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 you are useless. It's like it was a chorus every morning, evening, you are useless, you are useless, thou art useless, thou art useless, thou art useless, thou art useless, thou, thou are useless. And he had it for 30 years. That somebody comes on the scene and say, begins to say, You are so useful. Hmm. The emotion, remember, we are useless people. We are useless people. But if this guy will be, decide to be part of his life, before for 30 years he was not part of, of his life. Then somebody said, You are blessed. Suddenly you are useless to jump up and the feelings begin to attach it. But this guy woke up in the morning and said, I am blessed. 
feel comfortable. But he repeated it the second day. I am blessed. I am blessed. What will happen is that now the I am blessed is going to program this emotion differently. Suddenly the person will be comfortable with I am blessed. That's the power of repetition. So Peter said, I put you in remembrance. Why? To step. Go to 2 Peter 3 verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. In both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. He said, I'm going to stir your mind. How? By way of remembrance. Verse 2. That you be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Repetition. That's the purpose of repetition. You have to. Some people, all their life, they told them that the richer, the holier. If you get too much money, you go to hell. So when they see money, hell. Money, hell. Hell. And one day they got money. And they did not know whether to tell themselves hell or not. So they are not comfortable with money. Because somebody told them that if you come rich, you go to hell. But suddenly they begin to realize that no. You can be holy and rich at the same time. Then they become, get used to 10,000. Then 1 million. And they are very comfortable with money. Why? The emotion now partnering with the thought. Oh, this is amazing. The powerful thing is that, you know, I didn't talk about the realm of the spirit. Because there are angels here. There are spirit beings here, whether good or bad. And all of them, they get attracted or repelled based on the emotion. Why? Spirit beings, they feed on emotion. That is to say that they are empowered by emotion. So if you get to a place where there is love, atmosphere of love, love, it repels devils. Have you entered a home where you entered peace before? Why? The energy of the emotion repel the devils of fighting and anger. You entered another place and when you entered there, you are not a prophet but you descend there's trouble there. Why? The emotions of anger and hate brought those beings in the atmosphere. This is real. This is real. So you can determine your atmosphere by your emotion. The powerful thing is this. Do you know that the fruit of the spirit talks about your emotion? The fruit of the spirit is emotions. He said, the fruit of the spirit is love. Joy is no emotion. So, the spirit came to regulate and give you the right emotion. Why? Because your emotion is powerful. The moment there's an emotion, an experience must match it. What if you had the power to start with the emotion? Because... When I hit you, you feel pain, true or false? What if you started by feeling the pain? I can attract the hitting. This is, too, this is too good. I repeat. If I hit you, you felt the pain. So your feeling of pain was an end built up of the experience of hitting. But what if you understood how to make sure that you go ahead and feel the pain first? Then the hitting will follow. Because the moment you feel the pain, the hitting will have to come. You know that some people have meditated and they got blessings on their skin. And yet there was no fire on their body. But they thought of the pain and they saw pain evidence on their There were some athlete men. They told them that there's a disease, a new pandemic in town. And they've got it. So they are going to quarantine them. Do you know that at the end of 30 days, two of them got paralyzed. Two of them couldn't play again. And it was not true. There was no pandemic. They were doing an experiment on them. And they were just stop. Hey, you're about to die. The feelings paralyze them. And those who survived, when they were told, they began to amend. No medication. Listen to me. Every fight you fight from today, political battles is, is the play, the thought, and the emotion. Russia, Ukraine. When we break it down into the molecular level, it's the thought and the emotion. Somebody will feel angry. Somebody will feel joy. For Paul said, please, I'm begging you, Philippians 4, rejoice. I tell you, rejoice forevermore. Control this, your emotion, because it will determine what the will will choose. What are you going to do? Somebody is asking, no, I don't agree. It's the devil. Yes, but the devil, what they will do is they will suggest a thought to you. Hmm. I tell you something. What happens is that some, some people all their life, this emotion was broken. So they have become volatile. They have become labor. When you are talking to them, you have to be careful. Because they will take everything the wrong way. And at times, a spirit has identified that breakage. And the spirit has locked itself in their emotion. So 
so they cannot carry out two minutes conversation. You have to be careful with them. Because, hi! That is how they have been programmed. And that one attracted the spirit. At times, if not for God, that the spirit is cast out. Or the right word is taught to reprogram the feeling. So you can find somebody who is uh, anger. Ah, ah, no, no. But over time, the spirit of God can bring train. It's called a retraining. retraining. That's the where the self control and discipline comes. So I heard that Pastor Mark is a fool. Ah, who said Pastor Mark is a fool? But he composed and said, okay, Pastor Mark is a fool. Is it correct? We want to fight. So let's get emotions of anger. Pastor Mark is a fool. No, no, no. Okay. I'm a fool. I'm supposed to get angry, but I refuse to get angry. Let me choose my emotions of love and joy. The first emotion you feel, most of the time, you don't have a control of it. The sustained one is your problem. I repeat, the sustained emotion. Somebody hurt you 10 years ago. 10 years now, the emotions are sustained. I don't want to see John's father again. Uncle's, uncle's mom. The first emotion, the, the blow was hard. It hit you, correct? Everybody agrees. But the remaining that, I like, no, I want to be angry. It's my choice. I want to be angry. And I'll be angry. Nobody can change me. I'll be angry. So that anger partner with the thought and you got all the experience. What if you decided, okay, they said I'm a fool. I don't think I'm a fool. It's not right I'm a fool. They are telling me already I'm a fool. I can't do anything about it. I'll choose to laugh. Choose it. choose it. At first, it will be difficult to sustain. We get even with people because of the emotion. If the emotion was agreeing with the right, the Bible, we wouldn't do that. But something was telling you, get him a blow. Get him. The emotion was saying, no, we deserve a blow. Someone said, if I get, I give them a blow, I will be satisfied. Where does the fashion come from? The emotion. So that we wanted a blow. <laughs> we got a blow. <laughs> we wanted a blow. <laughs> We got a blow. He said, My head. I told him, My head. I feel good. It's our head together. I feel good. I feel good. Emotions. Emotions determine you. The next time you text somebody, How are you? Know that emotions are powerful. It will support your thought. Or it will disassociate from your thought. Do you know why people get commit suicide? Depression. They're tossing, no, no, you don't deserve to live. No, no, I think if you die, it will be better. It will, it will be better, it will be better. Then, at time, the source came from a devil, which brought the thought into the mind. But the mind had the ability to assess and say that, no, no, we can't die, we'll go to hell. Oh, no, if I die, look at the people will be hurt. I know the feeling is that it will be good to die under this circumstance, but I refuse, I won't die. Everything which happens is backed by an emotion. Are you going to control your emotion? From today, choose the emotion. Don't let the emotion choose you. I repeat. How are you? Now, the guy had an opportunity to get a... Ah, what, what do you, because you are the pastor, do you have to hit me like that? Or the thought said, no, you are in chess. So just pretend and be happy. The outcome was not devil or God. It was emotion. going to do. We have to grow up with the word of God. A baby will get up in this church and cry ah! and will walk it through of us because he's thinking like a baby. Do you know some people have grown and they still think like children. And so their emotions are the emotions of a child. What if we grew up in our thought, our emotions will be determined. From today you can determine the peace at home, the peace around your life. These things are real. It's true. It's true. Do something about your life. Lift up your two hands. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Clap for Jesus. The issues of life, they come from the heart. They are routed through the heart. But the heart is not the four chamber structure in your chest. Pumping blood. Mm, 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 mm. Not that one. It, it is where the source of your thoughts and your emotions, your feelings come. The Greek word is cardia, means the center. Your thoughts and your emotions coincide there card your heart strong definition the heart thoughts feelings so when i use heart understand that i'll, I'll make reference to thoughts and feelings pertaining to your heart and everything outside comes from within 
as is within, so without. If you can control your emotions, can determine your faith. Many people have been told that faith and feeling are opposite. And faith and thinking are opposite. But I told you it's not true. Just that faith operates by feeling, faith operates by thinking. Just that it thinks on another plane, another dimension. So when you are using faith, there is emotions and thoughts within faith. Christ Palace International Ministries.